Kabbalah 2 and 9 here. And you might say, what am I looking at? We're looking at two angels that are dumbfounded by how humanity is going at this point. So let's get into it. So what is this? This is a big old sack. Uh, some call it a ruck bag. Some people call it whatever you want to call it. But this is a big old bag. So what do I have in this bag? So we'll pull it out. I'm not going to sit here and ostracate on what we're doing here. But we're going to show you. So we got two things here. Two things here that you should always have. You should have this bag right here. This bag contains a gas mask. Gas masks, yeah, they come, they go. This is a little bit older one, but yet uh, I tested the seals and the seals are good. I even came in here, did a little, I don't know if you can see that, little proponent in there to make sure it seals right with a modern day filter. You find these masks, they're a dime a dozen, a dozen a dime. Doesn't matter what it is, uh, but these things come in handy. And it comes in this little bag, and then you just stick it in here like so because you want the modern day filters because the other filters are probably filled with asbestos you don't want that this one military issue this has a bunch of goodies in it folks this is stuff that hasn't been touched i didn't even know. but if you served in uh iraq or something like that it's probably gonna serve you well this is stuff that you should be prepping. And if you're not prepping it now, then I don't know what to tell you. Right here, we got a pair of rubber gloves. Right here, we got a full mock suit with boots. These are boots here with your gloves, your suit, and then your inner suit. So you, I'm not going to unpack this because this is all uh, uh, sucked up with uh, vacuum seal uh, from uh, manufacturer. So, in essence of what we're all seeing with uh, the state of the, of the world and the congestion that uh, everybody's choking on right now, uh, this is stuff that you should seek out. This is stuff you should prep. I'm not telling you to prep food. I'm not telling you to prep ammunition. Not even guns because we all have ammunition and guns, or you should anyways. Uh, and you should have a little bit of food, something to throw in there because I'm going to tell you when you start throwing on the gas mask and all that stuff it's pretty hard to see and digging in your bag is something you really don't want to do you want to focus downrange on your target whatever you're doing so when everybody's sitting here telling you to prep a bunch of ne unnecessary things uh, you should be prep prepping these items if you can find them so if you're going down to Tulsa in April this is the stuff you should be looking for you should be looking for your oversized boots you should be looking for your gloves and you should be looking for your mop suit and you should always take this stuff put it in this little baggie that i have right here and then uh when the time comes uh hopefully you never have to use it but you just have it taking up space and collecting dust so uh hopefully you know with everybody else talking about prepping stuff you should be prepping this stuff you should be prepping gear um, again, we all have guns. We all have the guns that you're going to take. Uh, if something goes south and you can't sit in your little palace of, of 1,400 pounds of food or whatever you're stocking. But I'm going to tell you right now, if something catastrophic would happen, I guarantee you're not sitting in your place. I guarantee you're, you're leaving the blast zone, you're leaving the blast radius, and you're getting somewhere where you need to be. Hey, I'm just saying... If worse comes to worse, and I'm tired of talking about it, I'm tired of people asking me what I should, shouldn't do. You should already know these techniques. You should have been taught these techniques from a long time ago. And if not, you should have been like getting filled in on the skinny uh, right away when uh, before all this stuff happened, when other things in society started to break down. This is the stuff that you should have already prepared prepped and prepared uh in case you have to use it i hope to never use this stuff this stuff is something if it if i'm using this stuff this is uh this is a life or death situation so uh prep your stuff i mean if you want to continue piled thousands upon thousands of of, of useless food 
that's going to get uh, covered in radiation, uh, that's on you. Uh, at least, you know, you can have a last meal. So hopefully this will help you up with what to start prepping for, what gear you should be looking for. You should be looking for a gas mask. You should be looking for a mop suit. You should be looking for the things that come together with a mop suit. Even if it's a little iffy, iffy uh, with some of the things you should... Uh, you come across in your lifetime. These are the things you should be prepping at this moment. Uh, the time for prepping ammunition, guns, and all that stuff, that's over. This is it. So, uh, heed the warnings. Do this. You may never need it, but it's better to have it than not need it than to need it and not have it. Thanks for watching.